Hey there, Eric with you from doghealthblog.com. Thanks for watching. I uh, have already uh, made a couple videos regarding dog stretches. This is the third of a series of four. I'm just going through specific stretches that you can start working with, uh, with your dog on. I've written a blog post regarding these stretches and just all the benefits in general of dog stretching. If you go to doghealthblog.com forward slash dog stretches, you can read all about it. You will love it. Please go and check it out. Um, Stinky here, as usual, will be helping me today. And uh, this is a, a great stretch. I really like this one it, because it involves so many different segments. We're gonna work the spine, the hips, the shoulders, the neck, even the, the torso gets a, a, a nice stretch involved with this one. This one's very crucial for mobility, especially for transfers when your dog has to go from a seated or a sitting position. <laughs> Stinky was just going to sit and show me that position. I have to be careful what I can say. This, this guy's uh, a couple steps ahead of me, needless to say. Oh, there he goes again. So uh, for this stretch, what I like to do is I, I just come on from one side and I lock with my leg their hind quarters and put my hand over their hips and then what I gently do you don't want to force it is I'm just going to try to push the sides together here so I have my hand under his head and I'm pushing and I'm also pushing his hips towards his head so we're actually trying to make almost like a C here if you can think of the head as one end of the C and the, the hind quarters here is the other and from there we're just trying to, to bring those two ends together and form a C. <clears throat> this one's a little different from dogs. It's not a natural stretch so they may resist a little bit and that's fine. You don't have to push it um, and, and your hand placement may be a little different for every dog. Again, I've done this with Stinky for a while and he's pretty comfortable with me coming underneath his head here. I'm grabbing his, his left shoulder and I'm also coming around his left hip. And again, I'm just trying to make that C position with those two ends. And as you can see, whoop, <clears throat> we can sustain it for maybe about five or 10 seconds. We're trying to work out the 15 to 30 seconds. He's not quite there yet, but if you can get to that 50 to 30 second range, then it, it, it's much more beneficial for the dog. They'll get, they'll get a lot more out of it. And again, that's a, a great stretch in terms of function. It has a lot of carryover to your dog's daily function. So please give that one a shot. And again, if you go to doghealthblog.com forward slash dog stretches, you can read more details about this stretch and also some other stretches. I've also posted videos in the blog that you can watch and you can read the descriptions. So please go check it out. Thanks for watching. Keep wagging. Thank you.